the first trailer for Miss Marvel has dropped, and this is an MCU project where I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. My only exposure to the lead character is from the Avengers video game that came out a year and a half ago, and the images that they put out, the little teases that we've gotten, haven't really won me over yet, but there's some really good crew working behind the scenes on this that actually really like their work. So I'm not sure what to expect. Let's check it out. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You are a weirdo. Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. But you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Kamala, hey, already? Really? Come on, like... Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch, or is like... Maybe they're right. I spend too much time... in fantasy land. That is not you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. That's a fantasy, too. Something happened to you? No, why? Did you hear something? Come on, out. What does it feel like? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you know what you are? Alrighty, so we've had our first look at it. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. If you don't want to know my thoughts on the previous Disney Plus Marvel shows, check those out in this playlist right up here. I'm going to give it a second look, and then I'm going to start talking. Alrighty, so right off the bat, this trailer puts into perspective some of those qu quick little shots that we saw before that when you first look at it, you're like... That's kind of a weird looking suit. Where are they going with this? And immediately start to realize that some of this is her fantasy. Some of this is literally like a costume that she's just kind of wearing for fun. It's not an actual superhero costume. And the other thing you notice right off the bat about it is that it has a much more energetic style to it than anything else that I think we've seen in the MCU up to this point in time. And um, you, know, you have kind of the little bubbles around people's heads and her imagination coming to life through drawing form. And um, I, I was kind of debating, they had a character show up that had horns. And I thought, maybe this is Mephisto, since that's what the internet's been speculating about, about everything else. Uh, and then I showed the trailer to my daughter, actually, during the break between my clap. Um, and uh, she actually suggested maybe that was in the girl's imagination. I thought, that's probably a better guess than my thought that that was Mephisto. Though I'm willing to place bets that it's actually, in fact, Miss Fisto. But you, you just kind of figure out that they, they're clearly trying to do something different with this. And they're aiming, uh, aiming at a younger audience. Obviously, Marvel movies have always um, been very broad in their appeal. But with the TV shows, it seems like they're intentionally trying to, to do things that are a little bit different, a little bit more targeted. So you have Moon Knight. I showed my trailer to my kids and they're like, eyes glazed over like what's this everyone on twitter that's an adult like that looks awesome and then i show this one to my daughter she's like oh that looks like a lot of fun that looks like that's absolutely perfect for me i'd like to check that one out in fact actually i did a trailer reaction with her between shooting the first part of this why do i have headphones on still some of the things i do sometimes don't make any sense um but so between the two sections, I actually shot her trailer reaction, so you can check that out right up here. But she checked out and she was like, yeah, that looked like a lot of fun. And that's kind of what I was hoping that this would be, that it would be a, an MCU show that has broader appeal. That I'd, I'd mentioned in when they showed kind of the early versions of it that uh, or, you know, when we got like 10 second clips that thought, it looked a little bit like something from the, the Disney Channel, like a Disney Channel superhero show. And... 
I understand a little bit better why I thought that in light of seeing the whole trailer with, like I said, the costumes and her imagination type stuff going on. When you get later into the trailer and it's clearly she starts to actually gain powers and stuff, it looks more like MCU, just a little bit um, with a younger hero, younger target audience. And um, that that feels better to me when you see view it in context. That's where sometimes it's tough to get a good grip on what you're watching when all you get is the 10 second version. If you if you're doing something new and different, a still image, a set photo, 10 seconds without any context, you're like, what on earth is that? So, um, you know, I, I can't say like I was blown away, like, wow, that looks amazing. But it was one that I saw and I went, I bet my kids are gonna like that uh, more so than they've liked some of these recent shows from Marvel Disney Plus. Um, and I like that. Something that draws them into this thing that I'm interested in, that so much of my life is about, anything that can pull them in, that gets them involved, I'm all for that, and that's kind of like what this looked like to me. And um, obviously looks like a coming-of-age story in a way that, uh, tough to know how... I didn't get a great feel for the flow of the season, it, like exactly what the threat the villain is. I didn't get the exact vibe of how she discovers the thing gives her powers. And so it's tough to like, was the whole first half of this trailer the first episode? Or, and the rest is everything else. Like, I didn't get a good vibe for it. I know exactly how this will work, but um, I'm curious. Uh, it it maybe it tampered some of my reservations without necessarily getting me like, man, I can't wait personally to check it out. But also don't suspect that I'm the person that they were designing this one for. They designed Moon Knight probably much more for me. And that's fine. That's fine if it's not specifically uh, aesthetically designed for me and everything. We'll see how it turns out. I do appreciate that they're doing something creative with all the way it's directed, the words on the screen, visualizing her thoughts. It's something new and different and an experiment that you can do with a TV show that's quite the risk if you do it with a movie. So hopefully it pays off and it opens some doors for them to do more creative things with their storytelling in the future. And uh, yeah, can't wait to check it out with my family in June. Let me know what you thought about it down below. If you want to check out my other Marvel Disney Plus content, you can check it out right over there. If you want to check out my daughter's reaction to the trailer, it's right down there. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.